So you guys, this thing did not end there. In fact, it has not ended. <laughs> Today, Pere is really, really ready for everybody. He's ready for his colleagues. He's ready for fans. He's ready for shippers. He's ready for jokers. He's ready for <laughs> jobless people that just come online to say what they want to say. So he has been on because the thing has really gotten to him we say Pere is an introvert but hmm, honestly eh there are persons that hmm, when you when you when you use your finger and drag their mouth eh, if they are going to tell you that thing that you need to hear they are going to say it unapologetically seriously they're not going to mince words when they are saying they can they just come out as blunt as you can ever imagine so and this thing he's saying today in fact you can you imagine that what he's even addressing fans have already started they have already this particular fans have started, started talking about these particular fans these particular fans have started talking about these particular fans you know banter up and down coming you did this one you did that one you did not do the other one but then i just want to read what he wrote to his um colleagues he who has ears should do what let him hear <laughs> what the spirit is saying to the churches or let him hear let him hear or let him hear what the girls is saying and he has come short the captioned it who the cap fits let him do what let him wear like who the cap fits let him wear nobody is competing so let me read what he said uh, okay this one is not to his colleagues now i'll come back to that when you do so much shady deceptive disgusting unethical and morally dependent things you do more harm to yourselves than those you're trying to deceive the sad part is because your deceptive ways you find it indescribably difficult to trust that other would naturally be transparent towards you your natural mind becomes wrapped and twisted in ways that you will never recover from and you start to have a warped interpretation of things that unequivocally reflects the warped and twisted nature of your mind. I'm just getting started with some of you on this app. Hey, 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 hey. oh God, I'm messy. I know that there. Eh? You know, some people, <laughs> some people will not understand this English. In fact, you guys need to go and study for IELTS so that you know you you build up your your vocabularies. You build up yourself. I know that some persons, in fact, it's not even so, some persons are not able to interpret this, and they are coming back to. They are coming back to reply. They are coming back to... <laughs> you must know your level of, okay, intellect and your knowledge of English before you can be able to interpret all that. So, guys, it did not stop there. I think this is the one he, he made, you know, generally for people that come to... You know, I think this one should be for fans, yeah, and uh, maybe some shippers. You make shady things and you write things that are not necessary or that are not... um. Which word am I going to use now? Oh my goodness. That are not kind of universally acceptable. So, this one nice to his colleagues. He said, and uh, this is directed straight at you. Who the cow fits, let him wear. Some of you are so gullible. It's pathetically unbelievable. You let your fans pilot you with their stupid analysis. And like a worthless um, kite, they direct you toward hate or disdain for a fellow housemate. You allow yourself to be immersed in the rubbish and letting social media affect how you relate with others and detect how you live your lives. It's something called balls that some of you need to grow and it's something called standing for something you believe in. That some of you need to learn to be. Hey, hey. oh my goodness. So he said housemates are like kites. I know you guys know kites. <laughs> like this season now of, you know, Hamatan and all that. If you get your kite and just add a little rope, just suspend it on the You don't even need to suspend it. Just hold it, suspend it. And it keeps, so he fell. He says that's the way some housemates Ah, you just follow whatever your fans say, you just follow what they do, and they are directing you towards hate. You direct directing you to like to hate your fellow housemates. You start nursing some ill feelings, you start nursing some things that are unacceptable. And he is trying to say that shows how gullible they are. It is not they should just come up, grow up and do what and wise up because it is not necessary. You don't allow these fans direct you. You should have your own um um, how do I put it now? You should you should be able to like you know have that 
uh, uh, would I say, say for yourself. You don't allow the people to like, you know, move you to, to or toss you uh, to and fro. Okay, just be a kind of person, be independent, and be able to make your own decisions and you know follow it through. So, uh, in fact, he still came out again. <laughs> And said also some of you jokers and jobless not heads who think it is cool to speak vile things, conjure vile things, and or drag other housemates over your disgusting, twisted, and one track minded opinions is simply a display of foolishness. Your dragging reflects and mirrors you, not them. <laughs> so you guys, um, he has come to you know social media is everybody's free you create an account you come up you come on twitter you come on instagram you come on insta blog you come anywhere you just throw out something some people even uh, mimic things some people can draw memes and you know all these jokers you guys know the way they do it now directing at either a celebrity or anybody so that's what he's trying to say now that it doesn't really work it doesn't really concur you understand to their level and you know it doesn't really match it doesn't really match you just come online you make joke of everything you just because you don't have anything to do then you see a woman with him you capture it and you come honestly it's i think i love this thing that is you know that is coming out of his mouth today though somebody has come to tell him that Okay, somebody replied to him and said, at this point, I think he lost control. That's when he was talking to his colleagues. No, allow him. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yes, definitely he has been nursing it. He's been paining him. So it's good that he comes, say it out. And I think that's the best way. Instead of talking it behind with one or two persons, he comes, he's putting it out there. This is how I feel. This is, I mean, what is all this? What is all this? What's all this going on? Eh? People are somewhere, they are showcasing, your, your, you send a picture indirectly, you're shading. You do this one indirectly, you're shading. You tra People don't travel again. Eh? People don't buy things again. People don't uh, uh, go for receive awards again or like I don't know what we are seeing, what we are seeing in this baby Niger stuff. Like I don't understand. Once they come out of the house, is this competition, competition, competition? I'm your level, I'm not your level, I'm this, I'm that, I'm the other one. Oh my goodness. At times I keep asking, is it better to just like stay on your own? I'm telling you, just be on your own. Don't build any any friendship, don't build any alliance, don't build after the whole show, just you know. I think there are some housemates that are like that, they are like minding their business and um, you know they don't they don't just care. They're just minding their business on their own because by the time you start forming alliance, one or two things will come up. When you have issues with that person, and another thing they are expecting so much. See what's going on now. I followed you, you followed me. Inebaya, Fina, uh, beauty. I don't know what is happening. What's just going on? What's just going on? If you're my fave and I see you with this person, invariably uh, they are talking about you, they are not your so I think this thing is still is really timely. Probably that was what he asked them to fold his, their hands and watch that is coming in due time. I don't know, but it's good that he has expressed his dissatisfaction over all these things going on on social media, especially with his colleagues. So I think to be forewarned is to be forearmed. And he who has ears, let him do what, let him hear. I keep telling people that having a brutally honest friend is the, is the best thing you can have because people just want to sugarcoat things. People just want to tell you what you want to hear. But if you have that one person that will come out and say it the way it is, it's going to hurt a lot of person, but when you sit back and think, you see that there is really sense in what this person is saying. And that is exactly what Perry has. And I think he's that brutally honest person. He's just blunt enough to tell you how it is. So I just wish that this thing will, no matter how they are going to, like, you know, share away from it, it will sink deep into them and see that. And he's not the first person to say, I think Angel has come to say it. Kid Wire has still said something, but his own is there. This one came as a blunder, like... He's really ready for everybody. You're a shipper, you're a fan, you are a, 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 his colleague, you're just anybody. Please take things. We don't take these things so personally. Just like some of us, when we come, we talk about them. So you see some persons coming in the comments, taking these things so personally. So when we first say, Madam, you are this one, you are this one, we so people they don't know. It's not it's uncalled for. Sometimes when I see those things, it makes me, I said, is there any way you can just create a channel or create, you just want an audience that will just, you select the people that you want to be there or they are just like matured people. 
please don't be moved by all these things over in online please and i've put it be always civil in your comments you mustn't just come taking things personally like allowing people you don't even know live rent free in your head so you guys that's just it thank you so much and after the whole stuff he said now nah, you all can have a good morning so i think he has rested his case <laughs> all right that's all for now see you guys in the next one bye